Good morning. Got it from the uh, uh, shelter. Ate breakfast and walked outside and looked up the road here. And we have a bear. There might be two of them. I can't tell if there's one over there in the woods or not. But that's how close the bear he is this morning. Focus a little bit because I've got the amplification up high. It's already looked at us twice. It knows we're here. I think these are the ones that are supposed to be none scared. Yeah, we read about them in the journal. There's four bears that come to this shelter and torment people. Well, he's doing what he's supposed to do. He's walking the other way. That's not a little bear right there. Everybody can see they're really not afraid of us. They just mosey off. Good morning. Screwball here. June 5th, day 77. This is the uh, hut we stayed in last night with the thunderstorms rolling through. Um, saw the bear right up there that you saw or we'll see on video depends on where it gets put in this line up at um got a trail angel this morning helping us out he's uh he offered the slack package but our packs are empty being we're going into town today so i chose not to but he is going to uh, meet us on trail and give us some dinner or lunch um ice man uh is his name um uh, one of my subscribers he's uh, from up in Pennsylvania he's came down to drive the Shenandoahs I believe so he will be uh, matter of fact he's hiking in front of us right now uh, so he's going to help us out today we're going into Front Royal for uh, tonight resupply for a couple of days to make it into Harpers Ferry but uh, you can tell you can hear the birds chirping as I say that, they quit. But uh, looks like it's gonna be a great day, about a 12 mile day. So hopefully by about two or three o'clock, we'll be in uh, Front Royal. So uh, y'all have a great day because uh, I know I'm going to. So far it started off great, saw a bear. Before we got up out of or got up moving we were up but before we got up moving had a bear give us a visit so uh everything's looking good so far so let's move on and i'll get back with you later all right we were just about a we weren't even point one off the once we got back up on trail off of the parking area. As you can see this morning we're coming up the parking area. That's Ice Man in front of hot and grease up there. So I guess it's a pretty morning. Uh, the grain the rain yesterday made everything a little bit brighter green. Birds are still chirping. So we're gonna have a great day, but I thought I'd just show you what the hike out looked like. So let's get this day going. All right, good morning, Screwball here. It's about 7.30, we've been gone from camp. We're at about 30 minutes, give or take. We're on top of the first little climb. 
pretty good rock out cropping. You can see the water that's left in the trail from the rain last night. Try to get around it without getting the feet wet. Get a little trail maintenance here and clear this off with a little drain. So the next person won't have to walk through it. Knock this here little dam down. That'll drain out pretty quick. Right there. See it drain. But then again, you got a big bunch of water running into it from up here. So that's all right. That's what rain does. Coming out of the ground right there. Coming out into the to the trail. Right there along this hillside. So but it is hot and humid. Looks like somebody else done a little drainage project right there. Probably bloodhound. Right, coming out of the ground again. Right there. So a thunderstorm last night dropped a good bit of rain. May have a view on up here. If I do, it's gonna be a good one. So let me get on up there and see if I can find one. All right, here's a little better view. I think there's one a little further up right there on that rock outcropping. I can hear up there talking. You see the clouds down in the valley, but let me move on up to the next one. All right, let's walk up here together and see what we got. Step up here on these rocks. Panoramic. Isn't that something? Look at the clouds hanging over the valley. There's your picture to follow up and quit drinking, but that was one of them classic photogenic moments of bloodhound. Could have won a Pulitzer Prize if I'd have got that on camera. <laughs> now he can't drink his water. He's too choked up. Man, is that not a beautiful morning? Wish y'all were all out here with us. I don't know if you can hear hot grease telling off his people his subscribers to come on out and enjoy it not that far off of the uh, off the trail not that far off of the parking area but i'm gonna get all right here's your log might not see anything it looks like something's been making a trail up in there i'm looking around to make sure there ain't no snake laying here close to it though but let's get on up in there Let's see if we can see anything up in there. I don't know. Let's see if we can get something to look this way. I do think that moved, whatever it is. Hmm. All right, let's back up and see. So finally, I went back and looked, and there is something there. I think it's a bird of some type. The way it waddled down through there, I'm not going to mess with him anymore but uh i look back at the camera and there is a bird or something we finally got something in a log people all right so let's move on i don't know let's see if we get something to look this way i do think that moved whatever it is hmm There's you some 10 seconds of nature, or a little more. We've dropped back down into a big flat. I mean, we're still on a ridge, but it's a big flat ridge. Big timber. 
mostly hardwood. I don't see any pine. But uh, got enough undergrowth. There's possibly be a bear or a deer standing out there that we don't see. But uh, yesterday I did talk with Arkansas. He said he was doing good. Not planning on getting back on trail this year. But uh thought I'd just let y'all know I have heard from Arkansas, the people that remember him. And uh, he's doing good. So, uh, just thought I'd throw that in there. All right, we're just hiking down the trail. The road is right there, but this is an old, some kind of old foundation. I mean, it's not real old, but uh, there's a foundation right here on the right on side of the trail. No telling what it was. Possibly a hood at some time. There goes Majestic, our trail angel from yesterday. I don't know if I got her own video or not. She's probably going to go drop them off. So, uh, but that's just, I uh, thought I'd throw that on there. Let's move on. It's just a pretty picture right here. <laughs> I don't think I got that on camera. I think I just moved the camera, but we'll find out later. I agree, he just stumbled and then he stopped and looked at us. Let's see. No, I may actually have that on camera. All right, let's move on. All right, just a rock on the edge of the trail. Thought I'd throw it on here. We're heading down. We're about, oh, four tenths probably from the crossing. We're going to do lunch. But I just thought that was a fairly interesting rock. All right, Screwball here. This is uh, the Ice Man and his wife. They have provided us with Trail Magic, some uh, some good uh, hot dogs or uh, sausage dogs, uh, chips and drinks, and they're going to pick us up when we get down to uh, 522 and take us on into Front, uh, front Royal. But um, I do appreciate it, and, and everybody else does here. Uh, we've eaten plenty for lunch today. As you see, the, the clouds are starting to roll in, getting a little dark, so we're going to head out and try to beat some of this rain out. We've got 5.5 miles uh, to go before we get to the trailhead. So uh, let us get and um, get this day continued on. June 5th, 1232, and we are officially out of Shenandoah National Park backcountry camping area. So, uh, you know, it was sort of a letdown, but we did see a lot of wildlife and some pretty country, but uh, I was hoping for more. So now we're moving on down. Uh, sun's out. We're moving on. So here we go. We come out of Shenandoah's and this is the trail. And it decided to get a little bit more uh, rockier, I reckon you could say, coming down off this mountain. So, give you a little bit of trail time on this rocky section. As a hot grease tries to stumble along down through there. Yeah, he said it's some seven hot dogs he ate. He didn't eat seven. He only ate about five. Let me try to get down through here without sliding and busting myself up. Give y'all some video time. You see it going down through there? All right, let me get. All right, we're dropping down out of Shenandoah's. Got a downhill, I don't know, maybe about a two mile down but you can tell the terrain has changed and also the timber it's uh uh it's not as open as in the open spots but uh the undergrowth isn't as dead as the other spots are either just a it's sort of a, a totally different environment uh so just thought i'm open that up and let you see when i'm looking at and 
me. Y'all may not be able to tell the difference on video, but as we're coming down this mountain, we can tell that there's a difference in the way the, the timber and the undergrowth and stuff looks. And some pretty good birds that we're gonna get and uh, head on down to our ride. All right, we got just a little less than a mile to get to 522 Virginia Highway where we're gonna get off going to Front Royal. So I'm just gonna show you, you know, not all the trail is open. You know, we walking through, you can't even see 20 feet out there. So all the trail's not big open timber either. There's a lot of grown up stuff. We'd love to go around this curb and get them some big open timber though. But uh, we just had a big rain shower we all got our umbrellas out. You can hear the water squishing under our feet. But sun's shining again, so there may be some thunderstorms, but I think we can beat them out. We're, like I said, we're right less than a mile. But uh, you can tell we're getting back into some big timber. We just topped a hill, a 300 foot climb, and then we're headed down. Uh, so, right here's a fence we came up on the other side of the mountain came up on the edge of this fence now it's a, we're going back down on the other side so i don't know what the fence is to don't see any kind of riding on it the gates are locked it's not very well maintained though so uh, no telling what it is but a uh, nice tree right there but whenever we get down here, and they, when we get in the Fort Royal, I'll try front, front Royal, I'll try to uh, get you a little bit of video. So let me move on. Coming up, looks like a house right there. Got some boardwalk here we're coming up on. Pretty neat, but here's that fence. Some more fence may not be the exact same one, but we've been following it for a while now. Getting some views out there. Do not know what this fence is or what this pasture is. This actually has bob wire on it, so I don't think it's the same fence. Oh, me. Of all the red tops down there, I was figuring some kind of military facility. That's what it looks like. So, uh, if I find anything else about it, I'll let you know, but right now, I'm not sure what it is. So let's move on and catch our ride out of here. All right, there's our ride. Majestic's right here beside us. She's waiting on dude, man. And this is our ride here. So uh, we're gonna unpack and uh, get ready and go to the hotel.